Good morning, Cornerstone Kids. It's Pastor John Michael, and welcome back to our series on the oh, wow. fruit of the Spirit. Wow. The fruit of the Spirit. Uh, now, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and of course, self-control. Now, we've already talked about love. Wow. wow. And during this episode, we will be discussing joy. <laughs> Joy is an enduring attitude of the heart and spirit and a natural part of the Christian faith, or delighting in the things that honor God. Before we talk more about joy, let's get it over to Pastor Jessica in the game room. All right, in today's game, Pastor Kelly and I are going to face off using this. I don't know what it's called. Uh, it might be like a ring toss, um, but the goal is that you swing this ring and you get it onto the hook oh, wow. right here. But you can't just place it on there, you have to swing it until it gets on there. And we're gonna see who can get the rings on the hook. Best out of three, Pastor Kelly versus me. You ready? Here we go. Whoa, one. What a great game. I bet that brought you a lot of joy, right? Come on, guys. That was a good one. So as we said before, the fruit of the Spirit are things that show up in your life when you have the Holy Spirit living in you. Joy is an enduring attitude of the heart and spirit and a natural part of being a Christian or delighting in the things that honor God. Can you think of something that gives you joy? Do you wish you could be joyful all the time? Me too. So what are some things that you can do that brings joy? Walking my dog? Eating donuts? Yum, yum. Playing games with friends? Do you know what else brings joy? Thinking about how amazing our God is. Amazing. He is an awesome God. He protects us. He comforts us when we're sad. He is always there. And the biggest one, he loves us more than anything and anyone ever. That is something that we can be joyful and excited about. You know what else I know about joy? Joy is contagious. That's right, when you are full of joy, the people around you can see it. Isaiah 55, 12 says, For you shall go out in joy and be led by peace. The mountains and the hills before you shall break forth into singing, and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Wow! Now, the mountains are not really singing and the trees don't really have hands, but the Bible is telling us that creation and the world around us is full of the wow. joy of the Lord. Wow. We can change wow. the world with joy. We need to choose joy and live with a joyful heart. Now, here's the thing. Sometimes life is hard. Ugh. And it's frustrating. So joy is not something that we feel every moment of every day. And that's okay. God wants us to choose joy and to ask Him to help us find that joy when we just wake up in a bad mood or when we get hurt or when we feel sad. Psalm 94, 19 says, When my worry is great within me, your, meaning God, your comfort brings joy to my soul. So when things go wrong, when we get into trouble, we can still turn to God and ask him to take away all our worries and all our troubles and we can choose joy. Do you have something that you want to pray about? Anything that is on your heart right now, we can pray in this moment that the joy of the Lord fills us up and cancels out any hurt, any pain, or any frustration. So let's do it. Let's choose joy today. So take a moment. Can you bow your heads with me? Heavenly Father, I just pray for every Cornerstone kid, every parent listening right now, that whether we woke up in a bad mood, whether we feel frustrated or confused, that today we will block out all those negative attitudes, all that negative feeling, and today we will choose joy. And you know what? Tomorrow if we wake up and we don't have that joy, that just like right now we're praying to you, we will do that exact same thing, that in all things we won't rely on our own strength, we will rely on yours. And when we do that, we will be filled with the joy of the Lord, the joy of the Holy Spirit. Again, I pray joy, I pray blessings over every Sea Kid family. In Jesus' name, amen. So again, thank you so much for joining uh, Cornerstone Kids Online today. We can't wait to see you next time. We're going to continue talking about the fruit of the Spirit, so don't miss it.